Hello there, my name's Melissa, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanna show you three different ways that you can finish off cord ends. Today I'm using two millimeter leather cord and I'm using three different styles of cord ends. The first style I'm gonna show you is where you fold your leather over and then you can attach your own jump rings, extender chain, clasps and whatnot. The second style incorporates a wrapped loop. So here you can just add a clasp or uh, jump rings and extender chains, whatever you want. And the last one I'm gonna show you is how to make a hook, a hook and eye type clasp attached right to the cord. So stay tuned, I'll show you how. Okay, for my first style cord end, which I'm just gonna fold the ends over here. I pre-cut my leather here to an inch longer than I wanted. I want to make a 16 inch long necklace. So I cut 17 inches and I chose 20 gauge bare copper wire. I have noticed that I don't have any necklaces with the copper wire cord end, so I'm just gonna make some right now. So that's why I chose the copper. The first technique, I'm gonna cut off about two and a half inches, thereabouts. I'm going to cut two of them. doesn't have to be exact. Okay, you're going to grab one. I'm going to use my round nose pliers, grab it about the middle, and fold it over itself. Just like that. I'm going to take one of my cord ends. I'm going to fold it over about half an inch here. You're going to leave a loop on the end to be able to put a jump ring in there. All right, so I'm going to snug that on there about midway down i'm going to take my chain nose pliers kind of smush it down pull it tight smush it down I'll bring one side around and then I'll go to the other side quick. Start tightening from that end. And go back up to the top. Making sure to smush down and tighten as you go. Don't smash it too much. And make sure at the end you leave plenty of room for your jump ring. So at the end, what I'm going to do, and right here at the end, I'm just going to turn it in a little bit with my round nose pliers. Just put a little hook on it. Inward. And then I'm going to smash it down my chain nose pliers. Just so there's no nothing poking out. Alright, so the other side. I'm near the end too, so I'm going to go ahead and snip this loose end here while I finish it off. Once again, I like to kind of hook it in. Actually, it's kind of sharp. I'm gonna, I'm going to cut it flush, turn it inward, and smoosh it down. There's a gap there, so I'm gonna smoosh them together. pretty tight. Alright, let's go over to the other side. Bend this right over about half an inch. Bend your wire in half. Make a U-shape with your round nose pliers. Slip it on your bent over cord end about halfway. Start bending it around really snug. Use your chain nose to tighten. Getting near the end, so I'm going to snip. the 
this on flush, bend it in with a hook a little bit, and then smash it down nice and snug. If your coils are cockeyed, you can one end of your chain nose pliers on one side and go to the other top on the top of the other side and just kind of gently smash and that straightens them right up. Let's see, we're almost done with this side. I'm gonna turn that in and then just start smashing it down, locking it in. There we go. I'm going to use these jump rings and a clasp, and that should be good to go. The next version, I cut another length of my 2 millimeter leather cord at 17 inches. And for this style, I'm going to pull out a little bit longer pieces, maybe about 3, 3 and a quarter. And myself plenty. I'm going to cut myself two lengths worth. Okay, so for this style, we won't need jump rings. We're, we're going to wrap the loops right on the cord end. So to do that, you leave yourself about half to 3 quarters of an inch on the bottom. Bend it over. You're going to go ahead and make your loop just like that. Let me get the loop started with one rotation on that leather right up next to it. It's going to be tricky to wrap this and the leather in place at the same time. Just need to get it started. Might have to use stabilize the end with pliers and then you might have to get it started with your fingers here. Once you do, it's smooth sailing. Once you get a good start on your coil, you can start shaping and smashing it down a little bit. And when you start running out of wire, you're going to need to snip your guide wire here. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to bend this on just a tad. Just make sure it's not sticking out. And finish this off nice. As you can see, that's pretty snug. All right, that's one side. Let's go to the other side. Same thing, about half to three quarters of an inch. You make your loop. You leave a little tail. I'm going to start off my loop quick, just a half rotation to get it started. Bring in my cord, stabilize my loop, and then I'm going to kind of manipulate with my fingers to kind of trap that piece of leather. To get it going here. Adjust and smash your coil down nice along as you're doing it. And when we're getting close to the end, we need to snip. Smush the very end of this nice and tight against the leather that locks it in. And then you're all finished. So to finish this one off, you can just add a clasp and use that. You can add another jump ring, a bigger jump ring for your clasp if that's 
what you want to do, or you can do a clasp and extender chain. There's so many possibilities with this. That's style number two. Let's move on to style number three. All right, so we're gonna need a lot of extra wire for this. For the looped end, I'm gonna cut about four inches. That should give me plenty of wire to work with. The same as the last one, I'm gonna leave about half to three quarters of an inch of a tail. I'm gonna bend it. I'm gonna make a little larger loop this time. This will accommodate the clasp that we're making on the other side. Here I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off my winding by going halfway around here. I'm gonna add in my leather. I'm gonna grasp my loop, keep it stable, and I'm gonna start the wire with my fingers. I'm gonna use my pliers at the same time. Start to trap that leather. Time to snip my little tail and finish this off. This helps to stabilize that loop. Bend in that and start blocking that in. There we are, that's one end. So the other end, we're gonna make our little hook clasp. And for that, I'm gonna pull out at least five inches. Maybe I'll give myself five, five and a half and see how that does. Okay, for the clasp end, I'm not gonna make a tail. I'm going to start wrapping it around my cord. I'm gonna start about halfway. I'm gonna put a little bend in it. And get the loop started on my round nose pliers. I have my loop. I'm gonna bring out a little bit of the leather here so I can hold on to it with my fingers until I get my coil started. Got a few wraps around and then I'm gonna come through with my chain nose and kind of smoosh it down to lock in my leather. Now that I have it locked in, I'm going to grab the coil with my pliers. I just happen to be using flat nose. You can use chain nose if you want. I'm still using my fingers. Until I can't anymore, and then I use my chain nose. Kind of smash it down sure they're all they're all even grab the end again see I, I don't want it too much longer than that size so I'm gonna go ahead and cut just a little bit off once again I'm gonna turn it in and I'm gonna finish this off give this end a good squeeze Make sure everybody's straight. Straighten them out. You can grab opposite corners. Kind of give a squeeze. That straightens everybody out. Now you can snip your leather at the top of your coil. And I got plenty of wire to work with for my clasp. So what I'm gonna do now, bend it at a 45 degree angle over the top. I'm gonna grab my bail making pliers. You can use anything you want to make your bend. You can use a Sharpie, a pen. I'm just gonna use my bail making pliers since I have them. All right, I'm gonna grab it like a quarter inch up. Kind of sneak that around. Mm. 
kind of just need to play with it a little bit to figure out what size and shape you want. I'm gonna bend mine up a little bit. Obviously I have too much wire, so I could have used like four and a half, maybe five at the most. I'm gonna make a little loop on the end there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut, eyeball it and cut like an inch off. And what I'm gonna do is come in with my round nose pliers and put a little swirl on the end. And to me that's too long still, so I'm gonna cut it off, cut a little bit off, make another loop there we go that's much better this is still really soft and uh i use soft wire so of course the, just the small amount of bending i'm doing to this it's still really soft so i'm going to grab my little hammer and hammer this out not too flat but it'll it'll harden that wire right up so it won't um bend too much on you They're much less likely to bend out of shape. It might spread it out a little bit, so you'll have to push it back in. There you go, there's number three. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or let me know in the comments section what you thought. And also feel free to let me know if you have any ideas for future tutorials. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to be notified for future videos. I make new videos each week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.